No lie, John Goodman actually voices one of the Autobots. Transformers Aids of Extinction, directed by Michael Bay, who is the worst director in history, and this movie is actually the least bad of the four. So we have a new lead in this movie, Mark Wahlberg. We got rid of Shia LaBeouf. Yay, no Shia LaBeouf! And Mark Wahlberg's character is Kay Yeager. He is this inventor slash engineer who is a single father. His daughter is 16 or 17 and he has found this old truck and he finds out the truck is Optimus Prime, leader of the Autobots. And he wakes up Optimus Prime, he finds out that the government has, is now trying to kill the Autobots. They, they are working with a Transformer named Lockdown who has no allegiance to the Decepticons. He's working on his own and Mark Wahlberg is the best thing about this movie. He is great. His character is likable. He handles action scenes well. He finds this sword that turns into a gun. That's awesome. <laughs> Optimus Prime is more well developed in this movie. That's great. You don't have that many Decepticons in this movie. Uh, you only have Galvatron and Stinger. Galvatron is the new leader of the Decepticons. and. Kelsey Grammer is in this movie, he plays this shadowy government guy, and he's pretty good in the movie too. Uh, let's get to the negatives. Oh my, the negatives. <laughs> First off, Tessa, Kay Diegers daughter, Nicola Peltz, is a selfish brat and badly acted in this movie, which is typical for Michael Bay. She has a boyfriend named Shane who is older and also he's badly acted too in this movie. The actor that plays him is Jack Rayner. <laughs> and Mark Wahlberg calls him Lucky Charms in the movie because he's Irish. <laughs> what else? Stanley Tucci is one of the characters in this movie. He plays this, this weasel guy who's building his own Transformers. And his character is written really badly in this movie. <laughs> And John Goodman. John Goodman voices one of the Autobots, Hound. And his voice is very distracting in this movie. Ken Watanabe also voices one of the Autobots, this samurai Autobot named Drift, who I guess you could say is a triple changer. He can transform into a helicopter and a car. <laughs> That's interesting, considering the toy that they make of him. They actually make two toys. They make a toy uh, that can transform into a helicopter, then they make a toy that can transform into a car. <laughs> this is weird because then since they made triple changers before of a robot they can transform into uh, two vehicles, so that is just weird that they, couldn't do, that they couldn't do it this time with these new transformers. The other Autobot in this movie, aside from Bumblebee and Optimus Prime and Drift is, and Hound, is Crosshairs, this green Autobot voiced by Joe DiMaggio, I believe, uh, who is the voice of Bender in Futurama. And uh, let's get to the Dinobots, who only get like 10 to 15 minutes of screen time, then they don't show up till like the end of the movie. <laughs> there is no personality behind these Dinobots at all, no substance at all, typical of Michael Bay. They're only there so Optimus Prime can jump onto the T-Rex and ride one of them and they're going to create some damage at the end. <laughs> and really, they're just done badly. It's, you don't know who any of the other Dinobots, uh, any of the Dinobots are. They, they don't introduce them but when they show up. It's just really bad how well they're handled in this movie. If you know the cartoon, you know that Grimlock is the T-Rex, and uh, there are other Dinobots that uh, all show up in the green screen, but 
it doesn't matter. The, the, the nine of us have done that anyway. So overall, I'm gonna give this movie an F. Don't bother seeing this movie. It's really bad. And that's all I gotta say about Transformers Age of Extinction.